Can I use the snow too? I'm not using snow on my face. Wow, that was a nice refreshing jet. Hey, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very fun and interesting and scientific one in a way. And we're gonna be testing out the new Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transforming Drops Waterproof. So Catrice is a cruelty-free brand that is sold on Ulta.com and in certain Ulta stores. This product retails for $7.99 for 0.529 ounces or 15 mils of product. So here is the catch with this product. The back of this tube that I got says liquid drops to make any fluid Catrice makeup waterproof. Shake well before use and mix three drops with usual daily makeup amount. On Ulta's website, it does not specify only Catrice makeup, but once I got the actual tube, it is specifically only for Catrice. Still, the only Catrice fluid makeup that I have is the primer, which I did test out. I tested out a waterproof primer, a waterproof foundation, and also a waterproof concealer. So for the primer, I am using the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. This is actually one of my favorite primers ever, so I would love to make this waterproof if possible. For the foundation, I am using a very accessible uh, drugstore foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And then I'm also using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. These products usually are not waterproof. Usually, okay, they're not waterproof, okay? None of these products are waterproof, which is exactly why I'm using these to test this drops. The Catrice concealer I have and love is already waterproof, so that is out of the bag. I can't double up on waterproofness. That would be kind of dumb. So I tested out some other products that I have instead. So if this doesn't work out, I know it's because my foundation and concealer are not Catrice specifically, but it still doesn't hurt to try it out in case this does work with other foundations. I don't see how it wouldn't because Catrice foundations wouldn't be completely unique in their formulation. Foundations are all going to be basically made the same way. But just in case, if this completely doesn't work, I will not knock this product because it did say Catrice on the back of the packaging, not online. Very sketchy, but uh, that's what we're working with. So half of my face is kind of the control group. Um, I just applied the primer, the foundation, and the concealer normally. And on the other half, I mixed in the waterproof drops. If you can guess which side is which right now, write it down in the comment section below. Pause the video, write it down right now. And then in a second, once I apply, you'll be able to see if you're right or not. So one thing I really wanted to test out with this is, is this practical for everyday use? Because not everyone is going to be swimming every single day and like dunking their face in water or trudging through rain every single day. But I wanted to see if this was practical for everyday use. Is it going to make my makeup long lasting? Even more long lasting, is it going to make it more long wearing? Is it going to affect the wear time essentially of my previous products? And I really want to test out if you can add this to a daily routine rather than just for special occasion makeup. At the end of the wear test, I'm going to be doing a series of waterproof tests. Um, so stay tuned for that, especially to test out the actual claim of this product. The rest of the products on my face are not waterproof, so at the end of the wear test, when I test out the actual waterproofness of this product, if they come off, I'm not gonna knock down this product because obviously I didn't mix in the powders with this, that'd be kind of weird, but I will be testing out if the foundation wipes off, I'll be spritzing my face with water, potentially dunking my face in water, I'll be swiping my face with some water and just lots of lots of different tests at the end of the day so stay tuned for that wow this is one of the longest intros i have ever done hmm okay all the products i used will be linked down below as well as the link to these waterproof drops will also be linked down below so check it out if you want all the product links before i begin make sure to subscribe like and comment down below if you enjoy these types of testing videos and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my uploads so without further ado if you want to know how these waterproof drops apply and wear throughout the day then just keep on watching <laughs> Yo, 
what's up so i am already washed moisturized sunscreened all of that has been done already uh, my skin prep is one and done now i'm going to go in with the catrice cosmetics prime and fine pore refining anti-shine base so this doesn't claim to be waterproof which is exactly why i'm going to pair it with this because this is one of the only fluid catrice products that i have that is not waterproof because the concealer is already waterproof and that would defeat the purpose you can't two times waterproof something you can't double it so i'm going to actually be doing half of my face waterproof and half of it without just to test the practicality of it so let's make this the not waterproof side and this the waterproof side so on this side i'm just going to go in with the primer as per usual this is definitely one of my favorite primers i really enjoy this product a lot okay so i just want to show you the consistency of it up close um just ooh, oh my god that is actually quite a lot of product i did not mean to do that much but like look at that that's like a nice cream gel type of consistency and i'm gonna mix that in with the primer not this much but um a little bit less about half of this with the primer to see what it really does to the primer if it makes it waterproof anything of that sort so it says one to three drops but what is a drop this is not in a drop form so i'm just gonna take however much i think is appropriate but let's just go with that much Let's see if there's any textural differences as soon as I apply it. It's a little bit thicker in consistency, definitely. Oh, change the smell completely. It smells quite good, actually. It's a little harder to spread on this side of my face. Definitely not as watery, a little bit more gel-like. Okay, so right off the bat, I don't notice anything too different in terms of pore size or anything like that. This side has had a chance to sink in, and this side is just freshly applied, and I don't really notice much of a difference right now. So for foundation, I'm going to be testing out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is just a foundation that I normally picked. It's easily accessible, a lot of people have it, and a lot of people do enjoy it. And also, it has a really nice spatula applicator for mixing and all of that. I have my brush. I'm going to be applying it regularly on the non-waterproof side with the brush. So this foundation for me dries down to a really nice uh, soft matte finish. So I'm wondering if these waterproof drops will change the finish of it, the coverage of it, the texture, anything like that. Okay, so that is the control side of the foundation on right now. And now I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand with a little bit of the waterproof drops. So this is how much foundation and the drops I'm taking. Now I'll just be mixing this and I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely changed the texture. I can tell immediately it is so much more gel-like, much more spreadable. I am kind of extremely surprised, like genuinely shocked that it ended up being different. <laughs> It didn't change the coverage. The coverage on both sides of my face are the same. It didn't change the uh, finish of the foundation. It's still a nice soft matte on both sides. It just changed how spreadable and blendable the foundation was 
which you know I definitely don't have a problem with that and I still have um, a bit extra left on the back of my hand but I am not in the mood for applying that much foundation today so we're just going to stick with one layer I am actually just going to smooth out my face with the Japanese sponge mm, actually I am thinking I'm gonna put a little bit more just right there just with a sponge so I seem to be having a bit of a a breakout situation right there, so I'm just going to use up whatever leftover product I have just to apply on the cheek, just so we can get even amounts of product. So I did use quite a bit on the other side, and I want to use the same amount. Okay, now on this side I'm going to take the tip so they don't really mix. Really soft matte, really soft matte. I see no difference right now. Um, we will try the concealers now. Okay, so this side I'm just going to be applying the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer as per usual that I would. And just going to apply a little bit. Just going to apply that. See how it applies usually. This is a medium coverage concealer. It's not too thin and watery. It's pretty thick in consistency. Um, but it spreads and blends beautifully as you just saw. <laughs> So that is how much concealer I took to how much drops. And now I will just be mixing them in. Ooh, that turned it so much creamier. So the main thing I'm seeing from this product is that it is really just changing the immediate consistency of these liquid products and is kind of just turning them more gel-like. That's all I'm really seeing, to be honest. I still have some extra. I did apply a little bit more concealer on this side, so I'm just going to match it up to the other side. Okay, wait, now I feel like I have too much product on this side. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Okay, so this is my face right now with fully waterproof base products on this side and not waterproof on this side so what do you think can you even tell the difference <laughs> i think we'll be able to tell a difference later on Ooh, ooh, there is a difference this side is definitely tackier this is like almost completely like a powder finish and this is a little tacky oh it's the same for underneath the eyes that's a high key concerning. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back on camera to tell you my thoughts. Who knew Starbucks sold their hazelnut syrup? Not me. Guess who got it? Me. Okay, so I have finished my entire face with the waterproof side and the non-waterproof side. I did notice my bronzer and blush and everything like that kind of grabbed onto and stuck onto this side much more than this side. It was a little bit more grabby um, and it was a little bit harder to blend out because of that. But so far it's not looking too terrible right now. It's only been an hour since I've applied it and I filmed another video in the meantime but it looks it looks the exact same. Yeah, it's like settling into my smile lines the same. It's looking the exact same over my texture. It's looking the exact same on my forehead. So hopefully by the end of the day, we can actually notice a difference in between the side to side comparison. But uh, right now it's the exact same. So I will check back in a few hours to let you know how everything goes. And then we will also test the waterproof claim. <laughs> Okay, so, balcony time. Uh, this is in natural lighting again. <sighs> waterproof, not waterproof. Is there a difference? I can't tell. Um, I think it really looks good in natural lighting. There is a dead frog on my balcony and uh, I don't know how to deal with that. Should I let nature take care of it? What do I do? Don't know. But this is the face right now. I think it looks bomb either way. It's been about uh, 
two and a half hours. Uh, so this is two and a half hours of wear. Practically no time at all, but uh, <laughs> still looks pretty good. And it's not that cold out today. I think I'm gonna go for a walk, but this is the look. So it's been eight hours since I initially put this weird waterproof drop on my face. Uh, as you can see, each side is equally as shiny as the other one. Legitimately looks no different. What did these drops even do? We're actually gonna test out the waterproof claim right now. The foundation is really, really breaking up right here. There's like a weird glob of, of accumulated foundation. I don't really know what's going on right there, but it looks really terribly bad actually. That looks really bad. Yeah, they feel equally as terrible. They both look equally as cakey. Um, the concealer, the under eye, they look the exact same. <laughs> they look the exact same. Same amount of creasing, the same amount of just everything. My forehead is the same. Oh wait, let me zoom out. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is spritz water on my face <laughs> to see how waterproof this is. But first I'm gonna like give a, did you turn this off? What? The nozzle. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not using snow on my face. There we go. Okay. I've gotten the spray. Okay, well, I'm gonna go spritz my face with water. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but uh. Wow, that was a nice, refreshing jet. Okay. Ah! Ah! My face is drenched. So, hello. Uh, drenched face here. Do I notice a difference? How am I supposed to notice a difference <laughs> between waterproof and not waterproof? I'm gonna take a cotton ball and I'm just gonna like wipe. Okay, foundation came off on this side. And a wipe. Equal amounts of foundation. Actually, that might be even more. I might've pressed a little bit harder. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do a, a bit of the forehead action. Hue. There is less on this one. Let's do another one. Yeah, there is less on this one, but it's still coming off. Let's do a little bit of a under eye action. Wow, the under eyes are actually waterproof. Or do I just not have product left there anymore? I swear to God, I have. Wow, they are breaking up the exact same. There is no difference, none. My eyeliner is more intact. Actually, matter of fact, let's test out liners. Let's see if the wing will. Yeah, see, my eyeliner is more waterproof than my foundation is. This product is a fail and will be returned to Ulta subsequently. My main thoughts on this right now is useless. It does nothing. I don't see any waterproofness. Maybe I do have to use specifically Catrice products to get it, but Catrice's foundation comes in four shades and I am neither of those four shades. So, tough luck. All the products on my face right now that is getting watered off uh, will be linked down below and all my other videos will also be linked down below so check it out if you want to see my other content please subscribe like and comment on this video if you enjoy weird testing videos <laughs> and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my uploads i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching bye